As Nigeria celebrates our 64th Independence Anniversary Tuesday, the country's under-17 female national team, the Flamingos, are hoping to present a befitting gift to Nigeria by winning medals for the country at this year's FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup scheduled to commence on the 16th of October in Dominican Republic. The team is expected to be in Santo Domingo, the capital of the host nation, for a two-week training tour Tuesday. In cricket, the president of Nigeria Cricket Federation, Uyi Akbata, and board members have promised quality preparations ahead of the 2025 World Cup after Nigeria picked Africa's sole ticket for the Under-19 Women's World Cup slated for Malaysia. Nigeria was declared winner of the final match against Zimbabwe after the match was washed out in the second inning and the qualifiers held in Kigali, Rwanda. We have to go back, see where we, the, those lapses, see where we've made mistakes and how we can correct them going forward into the big stage. In collegiate sport, the Federation of African University Games, FASU, has applauded Lagos State University and the University of Lagos for successfully co-hosting the 11th edition of the All-African University Games, won by American University Cairo for the third time in a row with 46 gold, 28 silver, and 8 bronze medals. Lagos State University finished in second place with 28 gold, 30 silver, and 26 bronze medals, while the University of Lagos ended in third position with 25 gold, 30, 30 silver, and 40 bronze medals. We see our facilities, we can host every game. All the games all over the world. In grassroots sports development, the Nigerian Surfing Federation and its partners have initiated a long-term developmental initiative with a mentoring program at the island of Takwa Bay in Lagos State. The main goal is to discover athletes that will become future champions in the sport in Africa and beyond. Kids need to up their game. We can be going to, for an international program and the kids are not living up to expectations. With regards to the kids, we would really want them to keep surfing, keep persevering. Aside tactics of surfing, the athletes were educated on the basics of financing, administration and doping. With Sports Update, Olumide Guntola, NT News.